In this video, we take a look at importing assets and exporting RIVE files. Keep in mind that the current version of the video covers what RIVE has available in the beta, and we'll be updating it as more importing and exporting features come online. RIVE supports vector graphics. These can be created directly in RIVE, or you can import SVG files from your editor of choice. Import your assets by dragging and dropping them anywhere in the editor. This automatically generates an artboard and associated hierarchy. Be sure to check out the Help Center for an up-to-date list of tips for how to best prepare your files for import. Use the Freeze feature to reposition the origin of any of your imported groups or shapes. To do this, activate Freeze by hitting Y on your keyboard. Once Freeze is active, you can select the parent group and reposition the gizmo. Hit Y again to unfreeze the artboard. As of now, Rive supports SVG files but in the future, we'll support many more. If you're looking to import a RIVE file that you either downloaded from the community or received from another user, drag and drop it into the editor. Once you do that, you'll have access to all the file's assets, animations, and state machines. For a more streamlined approach to file sharing, consider creating a team. There are a number of ways to export your files. First, RIVE gives you the ability to export runtime files, which allow you to add real-time interactivity into your app, game, or website. From the editor, use the export menu to download a .riv file. The v7 file gives you access to all the features that RIVE offers, which includes the state machine. If you're looking to store your files locally, or share them with another RIVE user outside of your team, download a backup file. These files are much larger than a runtime file and store all of the design and animation data. You can also export single files or groups of files from the file browser. Right click on any file and select download to export a single file or marquee select multiple files then right click to batch export. Alternatively, if you have files organized into folders, you can batch export a folder by right clicking it and hitting the download button. Sometimes all we need is a simple video file or PNG sequence to share with a client or our audience. Rive allows you to render out your animations via the cloud renderer. From Animate Mode, select the animation you want to render, select Add to Cloud Renderer, then configure your settings in the modal. You can add as many animations to the render queue as you'd like, and you'll be notified as they finish. Check the progress of your renders or download them via the View Cloud Renderer option in the Export menu. If you want other RIVE users to see your creations, consider sharing them on the community. To share your file, find the Publish to Community option in the Export menu. Use the modal to select the animation or state machine you want to share. Select a thumbnail, give it a description, and hit Publish. We're working hard to bring new features to the community such as remixing, liking, and commenting. Stay tuned for updates on that. While browsing the community, if you see a file that you want to learn from, use the Open and Rive button to view its hierarchy and animations. If you need a hand getting started with our runtimes, use the Preview tool. Head over to the Resources page and find the Preview tool on the right side of the page. Drag and drop your .riv file into the Preview tool and it will display the code needed to get this file running in your HTML project. In the future, this tool will work with other runtimes like iOS, Android, and Flutter. Our runtimes are open source libraries that let you load your animations into apps, games, and websites. Kind of like a video player allows you to load a video file, but with a lot more flexibility and a much smaller file size. The preview tool is also useful in the event that you are using a file created by another user, whether they be on your team or outside of your organization. By loading the file into the preview tool, you can take a quick peek at animation names, artboards, as well as other important properties. Remember to check out the resources page to find a complete list of our official runtimes as well as the community contributed ones. That's it for importing and exporting. We'll continue to update this video as more of these features come online. So be sure to follow us on our various social media platforms to stay up to date on everything we're working on. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the next one.